This is Muhammad Zahid with engineering training platform. From this training platform, you will able to learn step by step PLC and to get high score in interview and certification. Welcome back with the engineering training platform and in this presentation we are going to discuss about the significance of the special memory bytes, defining the parameters, HMI, parameterizing software, position modules EM253 and EM241 analog module. In this slide we are going to discuss about the special memory bytes. As you know that the special memory byte starting from SM0.0 to SM0.7 which contain the 8 bits that are updated by the S7200 CPU at the end of every scan cycle. With these bits you can implement various functions uh, in your program. Now you can see their assignments and functions SM0.0 this bit is always on and SM0.1 this bit is on for the first scan cycle only. It is used to call an initializing subroutine. SM0.2 this bit is turned on for the duration of one scan cycle if retentive data was lost. It can be used as an error memory bit or as a mechanism to invoke particular startup sequences. SM0.3 this bit is turned on for the duration of one scan cycle when run mode is entered from a power up condition. That way the station can be provided with a warm up time before starting an operation. SM0.4 this bit provides a clock pulse that is on for 30 seconds and off for 30 seconds for a cycle time of 1 minute. That way you have an easy to use delay for a 1 minute clock pulse. SM0.5 this bit provides a clock pulse that is on for 0.5 seconds and then off for 0.5 seconds for a cycle time of 1 second. That way you have an easy to use delay or a 1 second clock pulse. You can see here SM0.4 and 0.5 have the same assignment and same functions just the difference for the timing. SM0.6 that, that bit is a scan cycle clock that is on for one scan and the off for the next scan. You can use this bit as a scan counter input. SM0.7 this bit indicates the current position of the mode selector switch of equal to term and on is equal to run. If this bit is used to enable the freely programmable communication when the switch is in run, then you can enable normal communication with the programming device by setting the switch to term. In this slide we will discuss about uh, defining the parameters uh, before we will go for the parameters then we have to discuss about uh, the subroutines. The subroutines help you to structure your program and the instruction in your main program determine that which subroutines are to be executed and when. When the main program calls a subroutines for processing the entire subroutine is executed right to the end. Then control is passed back to the main program to the position in the network that was proceed before the subroutine was called. After for the next step we have to see the structuring. The structuring with a subroutines divided your program into smaller more manageable units. This is a benefit for you when you want to test or troubleshoot your program. When you work with a smaller unit, it is easier to test the individual unit and as well as the entire program and you can troubleshoot faster. You use the automation system more effectively when you only call the units 
you need and don't execute the entire programs in every cycle. To use a subroutines in your program, you have to carry out three steps in the following order. Define the parameters in the local variable table of the subroutines. And the second step, then you have to create the subroutines. And on third, call the subroutines from the desired program organizational unit, such as from OB1 or from another subroutine. In this slide, we will discuss about the human machine interface. Uh, HMI represent the interface uh, between a human. Humans means operators and the process. Uh, process means a machine or a system. Uh, the controller has the actual control over the process. And HMI are used for uh, representing the process. Uh, for example, the process is displayed on the operator panels. When I state change in the process, then you can see on the display. And HMI used for operating the process. For example, the operator can control the process through a GUI, means a graphical user interface. The operator can specify a set point for the controller or start a function or start a motor. And also we can use for output messages, for example, when critical process state occur in the process, an alarm is automatically triggered. For example, when a predefined limit is exceeded, then the alarm will be displayed uh, uh, on the HMI. Also, we can use for archive processes values and alarm. For example, alarm and process values can be archived by the HMI system. In this way, you can document the process, progress and later on still have access to older production data. Also, we can use for the document process values and alarms. Uh, for example, alarm and process values can be output as protocol by the HMI system. And that way, you can output production data after the end of the shift. And also we can use for uh, manage process parameters and machine parameters. For example, the parameter for processes and machine can be stored by the HMI system in receive. You can pass these parameters to the controller from the operator panels. Now we will discuss about uh, the TD200 wizard uh, which I already covered earlier. Uh, but here I will give you the small description uh, regarding TD200 wizard. Uh, the TD200 wizard uh, micro win uh, v4 and above and hardware version 3.0 support a new features in which you can define a TD menu with the corresponding screen hierarchy which specify in which sequence screens are displayed to the TD200 operator. Then user define uh, the custom design screen can also incorporate embedded messages uh, just like uh, bit trigger and messages. The earlier features with a dynamic message that are triggered by bits continues to be supported by the messages triggered by bits are now called the alarms. You have to work with a new version on the text display. If you would like to use and configure the new screens, you required a TG200C version 1.0 or above or a TG200 version 3.0 or above. Also, they have options for the language sets. Uh, the new TG200 wizard allow the use of several language sets. The new configuration of language for the TG200 support online switching between several language sets. This function make it possible for operator and maintenance personnel to select the desired language in the TD menu and to display the text in this language, which will be able to use and configure the online switching between the languages which you required a new text display. Then that's why you have to use for all of these options 
यूज द टी जी सी वर्जन 1.0 और अब और टी जी टू हंड्रेड वर्जन थ्री पॉइंट जीरो और अब ऑल्सो दे हैव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टूल्स फॉर द की पैड डिजाइनर विद दिस टूल्स यू कैन डिजाइन डिजाइन अ यूजर स्पेसिफिक फेस प्लेट फॉर द टी जी टू हंड्रेड सी एंड देयर बाय फ्रीली चूज द असाइनमेंट्स कलर्स एंड फंक्शन ऑफ बटन Uh, the tool is installed with step 7 microwin it can also be used independent of the programming software this tools output uh, a file uh, with extension of static.tg2 with the data for the face plate uh, the file can be used in the tg200 wizard so select the option use custom design keypad that was created with the keypad designers and specify your file with extension of static.tg2 now we will discuss about the parameterizing software with the tg200 wizard uh, you can configure the following uh, tg200 version for tg200 uh, version 2.1 or earlier has eight buttons with fixed functions uh, but for tg200 version 3.0 supports multiple language sets user specific menus uh, plc data display as a string messages with embedded icons and eight buttons with fixed function uh, for the tg200 c version 1.0 as all tg200 version 3.0 features plus a configurable keypad panels layout set up with the tg keypad designer tools additional diagnostic functions and load a memory cartridge stop to run command and edit plc memory as well as up to 20 configurable function buttons when the wizard uh, configuration is completed information and addresses that you specified in the wizard are used to generate a data page symbol tables and instruction subroutines you can create a multiple tg200 configuration by invoking the tg200 wizard and specify a new starting address for each new configuration in this slide uh, we are going to discuss about the position modules and the possibilities uh, in the position wizard uh, you have the following possibilities uh, you can use the integrated uh, the pulse train output and uh, pulse width modulation or you can use the em253 position modules which is uh, highly advanced if you need the more uh, position accurate now i will describe uh, about the pto and uh, pwm uh, plc has uh, two integrated uh, generator uh, the pulse train output and uh, pulse width modulation that can be configured in such a way that the output pulses it can be used for uh, the maximum supported pulse frequency is uh, 20 kilohertz on the other hand uh, em253 position modules can be configured if you need more advanced high speed position control and it can be used the maximum pulse rate supported for the module is uh, 200 kilohertz now i will share you the information uh, for the use benefit access and the area of use of uh, em241 Uh, the EM241 is uh, analog modem as expansion modules and the benefit to use as a worldwide and no cpu interface port is occupied the microwin now has full access to the cpu uh, such as the program download or upload program status table status write and read and for the system configuration Uh, the em241 uh, uh, can be used for uh, remote maintenance remote diagnostic uh, remote measurements and remote control of mobile 
or remotely distance automated machineries or plant sections and also it can be used for uh, automatic recording of materials by sms or emails and also can use for uh, data transmission from cpu to cpu or pc this is end of lecture please help to subscribe my channel thanks for watching